Lee. Top Republicans asking the FBI brief them on espionage efforts by the Chinese Communist Party as calls grow for Congressman Eric Swalwell, a Democrat from California, to step down from the House Intel Committee. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy joins us right now from our nation's capital with an update. Leader McCarthy, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me back. Okay, so uh, we want to play for you first Nancy Pelosi last week because your name came up. I do think uh, that it's unfortunate that Mr. McCarthy is trying to make an issue of this when his leaders, we all found out at the same time, Republican and Democratic leaders and the uh, leadership of the committee were briefed at the same moment. All right. Is that true? I've never been briefed on this. Hmm. I learned about this the same time you did. And in, in that meantime, I have asked for a briefing, and twice the FBI has canceled the briefing that they had scheduled with me in the last week. Today I will get a briefing. And what's important to me is it raises so many more questions. What do the communist Chinese have on the Democrats that is so powerful? So powerful that they focused on the person when he was a city council member, bundled money for him to become mm -hmm. a member of Congress. This person got onto the Intel Committee. Did somebody lobby for him? And in his first year, his committee was overseeing the CIA. And then at the same time, he ran for president. We have Nancy Pelosi, who just last year said it was a diversion to focus on China. You got the Democrat Armed Service Chair, who literally said on the floor of Congress, that it was not China's job to warn us about the virus. You got Adam Schiff, the now chairman of Intel Committee, saying it was just escalation, that it was wrong that we closed that consulate in Houston of China. It raises so many more questions. There are 200 other Democrat members of Congress. You're going to tell me one of those other 200 mm -hmm. are not better to be on the Intel Committee than Swalwell? I'm asked for this briefing today because I have a lot of questions. The Democrats backed out of the bipartisan task force on China last year on the day before we were announcing it. Why? Why can you allow Swalwell to stay on this committee and cheat the American public? Mm -hmm. it, is, it is justified that we look at and, and save our national security. Well, it is curious that uh, you had two meetings with the FBI scheduled and then canceled. You'll eventually get it today. I'm sure one of them was probably weather-related. Uh, but will they present... No, 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 no. No, let me be very clear. It's not weather-related when it was going to be a video Zoom conference. Well, then why weather would they cancel no it? And why would they cancel on the day of? That is why I will not give up. That Good. is why I raised this issue from the very beginning. This is our national security. This isn't about a Republican and Democrat. Right. What happens in the Intel Committee, they learn our secrets and keep the secrets of this country. The, Eric Swalwell attacked our national security, our, our national Intel officer, John Radcliffe, yeah. when he told about China's growing spy network. He attacked an American and defended China, and this is just in the last month. Why? Yeah. These are questions that continue to raise that everybody should be concerned about. Okay, so are you confident that the FBI, when you finally do have this briefing that they canceled twice, they will tell you exactly the same thing they told uh, Speaker Pelosi back in the day? Well, we'll find out, but there's more information has to go on now. And I will tell you that because I'm a part of Gang of Eight, I'm able to read and have information just as certain people on the Intel Committee have as well. And what I read in those reports would raise a lot of questions right now today. And those are the questions I'm going to ask the FBI in this gift. Those are the questions I want the answer to. And those are the questions I will not give up on until I have the answers, because it means the protection of this nation. Why can't the Democrats admit that China is our adversary? Why can't mm -hmm. they stand up to them? And why would they ever allow? Think from one moment, Hollywood would make this movie, that China comes to America, focuses on a city councilman, helps them to run for Congress, helps them to get on the Intel Committee, then run for president. I think we've seen this movie before. It's called The Manchurian Candidate. But you know what? If you knew that information, why would you ever allow them to stay on that committee? You have 200 other people to choose from. You are putting the national security of America in doubt, but you're also mm -hmm. causing the Intel Committee to not be productive in anything. Why would any other member in that committee say anything if they are afraid it was going and Eric Swalwell could hear it?
I know in that press conference, Nancy Pelosi talked about you. Has she talked to you about this? No, she has not talked to me about this. We mm. focused a lot on the COVID bill. I mean, think about what's going on today, not just in America, oh, but in the world. We, we are so proud of this President Trump for getting this Operation Warp Speed. But where did this virus come from? It came right. from China. Why did Nancy Pelosi call in the middle of all this that if we focused on China, it was a diversion? Why did the chair of Intel, Adam Schiff, when everybody knew that Houston consulate was used to spy These on are the world, all, right. that it was an escalation? But it wasn't the right thing to do. Leader McCarthy, these are such good questions. When you, after you get your briefing from the FBI, whatever you can tell us on the other side of it, please drop, uh, drop by next week. We'd love well, to hear. I, pr I promise you, I will not give up till I get the answers. All right, uh, sir. Have a great holiday week. You too. Merry Christmas.